Hey folks, good evening from Vancouver. Uh, still no sky to still no internet, so I thought I'd do a quick video blog on what I've been doing to entertain myself without the high technology of the 21st century. Uh, so, a lot of sketching, I've been doing lots of little bits and pieces with that, but mostly it's been reading, uh, and not comics, you'll be glad to hear. I've been reading novels, big, meaty, chunky passages of text with no pictures. There you go. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to read Roald Dahl religiously. I've read most of his books, uh, loved them to bits. Uh, I spent an entire day reading Charlie and Chocolate Factory, during which time my mom had to feed me in my bedroom simply because I wouldn't leave. And uh, George's Marvelous Medicine still rates as one of my top five books of all time. I just, I just, I love reading it. I read it like once a year. It's, it's just a great book. Um, but in the last couple of years, I really let reading slip and slide, and I haven't really been reading much. So uh, the Xbox, the Wii, all that kind of stuff has just kind of taken over, unfortunately. And to my shame, I really let reading slip, so more than I expect, more than I should have. But since we arrived in Vancouver, I've been getting back into reading in a big way and really enjoying it. It's been such a wonderful experience. So I'm going to give you quick two, two quick reviews on uh, two books that I've been reading recently. Uh, the first of which is called Frontier Earth by Bruce Boxleitner. The Bruce Botlinger, that's right, yes, Captain Sheridan. Um, so it's man's first contact with aliens in the year 1881. Um, so it's kind of cowboys and aliens, but it was written like over a decade ago, right? Uh, it's pretty good, nice characters, nice concepts, uh, some cool ideas. Uh, it's based in Tombstone, so you've got like a cool setting, uh, stuff like that. But one of the big problems was he clearly did a lot of research, he clearly did a lot of work, he clearly knows an awful lot about the Apache Indians that were in the area, uh, about their language, about their rituals, about the cowboys that were in the area, about what they got up to, about the flora and the fauna, and oh my god, it just goes on and on. And the start of the book ends up just being an encyclopedia of what the world was like in 1881, right? Um, and it's just a bit heavy-handed, a bit forced, um, a bit just exposition heavy. Um, so, you know. But once you get past that, it was an enjoyable read. Uh, not Shakespeare or anything, but just a lot of fun. So, uh, after that, I was kind of wondering what else, what else I'm going to read. And uh, I remembered something that people have been telling me to read for years Jim Butcher's Stormfront, the first book in the Dresden Files series. Uh, there's a role playing game of this as well. So, people have been recommending it. It's from my favorite systems, Fate 3.0. So, you know, said I'd give it a go. And I love it. It's absolutely amazing. I love Harry. I love Karen, Carmichael, all the supporting characters. They're just so much fun. Uh, Harry Dresden himself is brilliant. He's basically a wizard in modern day Chicago. Uh, one of the America's only practicing wizards. Um, and magic is real. And, you know, he ends up, like, it's kind of a homicide detective thing. And he's a private investigator. And, it's just a really good read, very funny, um, really well written. It it's completely avoids that problem that I was just saying with Bruce's first book, where you've got, so you've got like little things are mentioned early on, and then maybe they get mentioned again a second time, and then on the third time they'll get explained because something happens and needs to explain it. So not everything gets explained at the start, and it's nicely spread out throughout the entire book, to the point where even his father is briefly mentioned at the start, but you don't actually know anything more about him until almost near the end of the book because it's only then that it kind of starts to become relevant for, for that part of the story. So it just felt very, uh, it flowed a lot more naturally um, and it was a much more enjoyable read. I read this in about three days. Um, I stayed up until 2 a.m. yesterday morning reading it, uh, or this morning even, reading it, um, and I just couldn't get enough. So then I went out today um, while I was doing some stuff about getting a job and I picked up Full Moon, book two, and Grave Pearl, book three. So I just started into Full Moon, which seems to be about vampire, uh, sorry, werewolves. So uh, see how that goes, right? Um, other than that, we've been doing a lot of role playing. Claire is right now off meeting a group of guys talking about a Pathfinder game she's hoping to join. Uh, and I played in a Gamma World game last night, which I really, really enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was pretty much just one combat encounter, but it's hopefully going to run into a full campaign. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm hoping for myself. To run Spirit of the Century, maybe some Dresden Files, right? Why not? It's flavor of the month. Um, and other than that, all's good. Uh, hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves. 
And I'm going to leave you there because I'm going to head back to Harry and see how he's dealing with those pesky werewolves. So, have a good night, guys. Enjoy.